students in this video we'll discuss error in quotient and error in power so first topic is error in quotient so let's consider that we have a physical quantity z such that z is equals to a upon b where a and b are two physical quantities and z is another physical quantity that is given by the ratio of a and b or you can say the quotient of a and b so <clears throat> to find the error in z we will first take log of this term so log z you can write here taking log both side if we we'll take log both side we will get log z is equals to log a minus log b because we know that log x over y is equals to log x minus log y so we can apply this formula here then we will get log z is equals to log a minus log b if we will take a small change both side taking a small change both side if we will take a small change both side then we know that small change delta in any log arithmetic quantity is given by del x by x in previous video we have discussed about it so from here we can write log z is equals to del log a minus del log b so the value of del log z may be written as del z by z is equals to del a by a minus del b upon b so from the definition of relative error we can identify all these terms as relative errors in z relative error in a relative error in b so <clears throat> this is the error in z but this is not the maximum if you want to calculate the maximum relative error in the uh, measurement of z then we'll have to take the sign of del b by b positive so <clears throat> for maximum error the above expression becomes del z by z is equals to del a by a plus del b by b so this is the maximum relative error in the quotient of two physical quantities okay and if you multiply both side by 100 then you will get the percentage error and that is an another one so next type of error is error in power of any physical quantity error in power of any physical quantity you have to consider physical quantity z such that it is nth power of any other physical quantity that is a so a is any other physical quantity and if you are taking nth power of this uh, quantity you will get the new quantity that is z so to find the error in this quantity first you will take log both side so taking log taking log both side you will get log z is equals to n log a why because we know that log of x to the power n is equals to nx n log x so you you will apply this formula here then you will get n log a again taking a small change taking a small change both side this becomes del z by z 
is equals to since n is an integer and change in n is not possible then we will separate the n and we will take change only in the log a then we will get del a over a del a over a to get percentage error we have to multiply 100 both sides so right, del z by z into 100 is equals to n del a by a into 100 this is a percentage error in powers so students here we have an example in which you can see the time period of a simple pendulum is given by t is equals to 2 pi times of under root l over g and percentage error in l is 20 percent and percentage error in g is 10 percent then find the percentage error in the calculation of t so here we have a formula solve this first we will write the formula t is equals to 2 pi and root l over g you can also write it 2 pi l upon g to the power 1 by 2 also you can say that it is 2 pi l to the power 1 by 2 g to the power minus 1 by 2 now <clears throat> to find the percentage error in t first we will observe the expression here we will apply the two important rules of uh, combination of errors first error in product second error in powers so if we will apply this we have to take log both side taking log both side if we will take log both side we will get log t is equals to log 2 pi plus log L 1 by 2 plus log G minus 1 by 2 that here we are using L to the power 1 by 2 so we know that log X to the power N is equal to N log X so we can apply that formula here then we will get log 2 pi plus 1 by 2 log L minus 1 by 2 log G this is log T taking a small change taking a small change this becomes del log t you cannot change the value of any constant so change in log 2 pi will be 0 so <coughs> it is 0 plus 1 by 2 del log l minus 1 by 2 del log g which means del t by t is equals to 1 by 2 del l by l minus 1 by 2 del g by g for maximum error we have to take all signs positive then it becomes del t by t maximum is equals to 1 by 2 del l by l plus 1 by 2 del g by g percentage error in t so we have to multiply 100 both sides then we will get del t by t into 100 is equals to 1 by 2 del l by del into 100 plus 1 by 2 del g by g into 100 percentage error in l is 20 percent and percentage error in g is 10 percent so <clears throat> this term is representing 
the percentage error in length and this term is representing the percentage error in gravitational acceleration so if you can place the value directly here then you will get 1 by 2 what is the percentage error in length it is 20 percent plus 1 by 2 what is the percentage error in gravitational acceleration that is 10 percent so it becomes 10 plus 5 that is 15 percent so 15 percent percentage error will be found in the calculation of time period of that simple pendulum which is having <clears throat> 20 percent error in length and 10 percent error in acceleration this is your homework uh, you have to do five numericals on combination of errors so students try to solve maximum questions from your textbook and in next video we'll discuss some very important numericals of combination of errors thank you